Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another Incident Deck Tech. So today, we have one of those weird situations where, against the odds, actually taking over the world, this is Five Color Seance, recently took Zach Elsick to a 5-0 finish in a competitive league on Magic Online, so big congrats to Zach on Super Sweet Seance Deck. If you don't know, Zach was actually influential with the five color seance deck that we built for against odds. He shared some ideas because he'd been working on it for a while, so I guess he's kind of the seance master in some sense. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down five color seance for modern. If you enjoy this deck, and you want to see it made to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made to videos next week. So, Five Color Seance, built around the card Seance. So, Seance is kind of this strange enchantment. Comes down every upkeep, so our upkeep and our opponent's upkeep, we can exile a creature from our graveyard, and we get a token copy of it. The downside is, the token copy gets exiled at the end of turn, which means since it doesn't have haste, we can't really attack with it. We can block if it's our opponent's turn. So we're mostly trying to play some really interesting creatures that allow us to get value when we seance them, even though we can't use them for attacking or anything. So how do we go about abusing seance? Well, step one is to get creatures in our graveyard. So for seance to do anything, we got to have creatures in the graveyard. Seder Wayfinder is super nice because we can play it on turn two, make sure we hit a land drop to be able to play our seance on time. And then as the game goes along, we can always seance back the Seder Wayfinder, like after chumping or something, to put more cards in our graveyard to the next upkeep, get more seance creature triggers. Then we have Commune with the Gods, which not only dumps cards in our graveyard, but it can grab a creature or an enchantment, which means we can use it to find our seance, which is super key, because we can win without seance, but we are very much built around seance. It is the namesake card, the key card in our deck, so we really, really, really want to have a seance on the battlefield. That's what our deck is trying to do. So, those are the support cards to get creatures in our graveyard for seance. We also have a bit of ramp. Birds of Paradise just speeds up the process. Coiling Oracle can put a land directly on the battlefield, or it draws us a card, which makes it a good creature to abuse with Seance, since, yes, we can attack with it, although it can jump block, but we're getting that card draw or ramp, even though we can't really do anything with the Coiling Oracle token after we Seance it. So, that's kind of more of the setup stuff, ramping into the Seance, filling the graveyard for the Seance, but how do we go around really getting value out of Seance? We have a bunch of different packages, so two of the easiest cards to use with Seance are Muldrifter and Shriekmaw, because Muldrifter Drifter and Shriekmaw have Evoke, which means we can use them with their Evoke cost, which not only gets us their Enter the Battlefield trigger, drawing a couple cards with Maul Drifter, killing something with Shriekmaw, but it puts them into the graveyard, which means then on the next upkeep, we can get back Maul Drifter, draw two more cards, get back Shriekmaw, kill something else with Seance. So it's kind of a natural synergy there that generates a lot of value, cycling through our deck, killing our opponent's stuff. We also have a full-on land destruction package, Fulminator Mage, super sweet with Seance, play it, blow up one of our opponent's lands, get it back with Seance, sack it before it gets exiled, blow up another land, Avalanche Rider blows up land, comes down with haste so it can actually attack, then we can just not pay the echo cost, get it back with Seance, blow up another land, Avalanche Rider, worth noting too, doesn't say non-basic, Fulminator only blows up non-basic lands, Avalanche Rider gets any lands, so we can technically just straight up mana screw our opponent out of the game by just doubling up our Fulminator Mages, doubling up our Avalanche Riders, killing a ton of lands gives us game again Tron, great against control decks. We also have a bunch of life gains, so if we're playing against aggro, anything with a lot of creatures, Lone Missionary, Chump with Lone Missionary, Get Back Lone Missionary, that adds up to 8 life all by itself. Huntmaster, super sweet with Seance because it leaves behind the Wolf Token, and the Wolf Token won't get exiled, so we get back the Huntmaster, gains us a bit of life. Yes, Huntmaster with Seance will go away, but the Wolf stays behind, so we get some value. Plus, Huntmaster on its front half without Seance is really good at taking over the 
the game if we can keep flipping it back and forth. Then we have Eternal Witness, just for general value. We're getting tons of cards in our graveyard with Seder Wayfinders, with our Commune with the Gods, which means Eternal Witness can have a lot of good targets. So instead of just seancing a Fulminator Mage, we can Fulminator Mage, blow up a land, Eternal Witness, get back Fulminator Mage, play Fulminator Mage, blow up another land, then seance Fulminator Mage. That's three lands with one Fulminator Mage, which is a lot of lands. It's going to be hard for the opponent to do anything through that. Plus, Eternal Witness comes back with Seance, gets something back out from the graveyard, so just so much grindy potential there. As far as actually just closing out the game, Siege Rhino is a big one. So we cast Siege Rhino, drain our opponent, ends up dying, get it back with Seance, drain our opponent some more, more life gain to stabilize against aggro, but we can really just drain our opponent out of the game, and then Resto can blink a lot of our stuff. So many of our things have Enter the Battlefield triggers, Avalanche Riders, Coiling Oracles, Seder Wayfinders, but blinking Siege Rhino is especially devastating for closing out the game. So that's kind of our main plan for actually killing our opponent. Otherwise, apart from our Seance stuff, just three Path to Exile. Apart from the Seance package, that's all we got in the deck. So we are super focused on Seance being our primary plan. Mana base, we got a ton of different lands as you might expect. A couple of fetches, a million different shock lands, a Murmuring Bosque, which is kind of a fetchable tri-land, a Stirring Wildwoods, and some basic lands to play around Blood Moon. In the sideboard, we get a ton more sweet creatures to seance with. Thragtus gains us a bunch of life, leaves behind a beast when it leaves the battlefield. Lone Missionary for more life gain against Burn and Aggro. Rex Age to blow up artifacts and enchantments. Orzal Pontiff really good against Lingering Souls, wipes out a whole board of Lingering Souls, can do it multiple times thanks to Seance. Sin Collector for control and combo, dressing away a card out of our opponent's hand. We can go up to the fourth Fulminator Mage if we're playing Tron or decks with creature lands that are trying to use them to kill us, like Celestial Colonnade and Blue-White Control. Then just a bunch of interactive stuff. Nile Spell Bombs for Dredge and other graveyard decks. Thoughtseize, combo, getting pieces out of our opponent's hand. Stony Silence for Affinity and Tron. Sundering Growth, kind of all-purpose artificial effect and enchantment hate. Plus, remember, the Seance creatures we get back from the graveyard are tokens so we can proliferate, get even another Fulminator Mage, blow up another land, and that is five colors Seance for Modern, and that's Crimson and Deck Deck for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.